Okay, there we go. Now I'm moving. Okay. About three minutes until we start again. Once again, I've got a uh, skeleton going. We can go ahead and close most of these levels because all we care about is level seven today. Unless we need to reference something. And uh, I think I just need to commit this skeleton because I've made a couple of updates since the last commit. Command and push. Don't care about the warnings. Push. We can just go ahead and move this. Okay, cool. Oh, I hope that tonight's problem is a little bit harder than last night's problem. Um, but not too, too hard. Because after this, we're going to take a little break and then we're going to play some chess, I think. And then I've got... Today's Tuesday, so I've got a little bit of time. I can uh, make the uh, video for Thursday morning tomorrow night, which is good. Because I don't think I'm going to want to tonight if I'm streaming chess for a while. But that's okay. We'll get there. Hmm. Hope everybody's having a good night. It's a pretty quiet one for me. I, uh, as I mentioned a couple of times earlier in this speedrun, I, uh, I'm training for a half marathon. Not because I'm actually running the race or anything, but just because I need something to do to stay fit uh, while I can't go anywhere. And so, um, that's been going fine. Oh, yeah, I need to charge this phone. That makes sense. And, um, like, the big note there is mostly that, uh, I'm really tired after I do that six miles today, uh, which wasn't so bad, but I ran it pretty quick. So at least that's good. Oh, let's see how my most recent chess YouTube video is doing. Decently, actually. Not not a ton of views, but the watch time is really good. So we'll see whether or not anybody catches back up and, and does that. Oh, man. My, my chess YouTube is slowly slowly gaining uh subscribers We're up to 193 which is a lot like that's actually not too bad in terms of a uh, subscriber count that's actually 15 thousandths um out of a lot it's in the 74th percentile but in terms of like video view ranks i'm, I'm way down the bottom because there are some some places that never get any subscribers but uh do in fact um, I get a lot of views, which is not that surprising. Got about 40 seconds left. Got to make sure that I don't actually snooze my way through the timer as I ramble. Amiably, though, it may be. Uh, and you can see if you've been paying a keen eye to my status bar down here that I've got all the um, Adobe Creative Cloud stuff open so we can make a video directly after this. Okay, and let's uh, check some emails, including one from Google. What's up with that? Ah, there we go. Cool. Excellent. Um, so I needed to do something to uh, update my... Um, oh, here's a problem. Day 7. No space left on device. You can hear birds chirping and raindrops hitting leaves as the expedition proceeds. Occasionally, you can even hear much louder sounds in the distance. How big do the animals get here, anyway? The device the elves gave you has problems with more than just its communication systems. You try to run a system update. System update, pre's... Please, dash, dash, pretty pleased with sugar on top. Error, no space left on device. Perhaps you could delete some files to make space for the update. You'll browse around the file system to assess the situation and save the resulting terminal output, your puzzle input. For example, cd slash ls dear a size b.txt size c.dat dear d. cd a ls uh, dear e uh, 29 f blah, 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 etc. So it's a bunch of files. File system can consist of a tree of files, plain data, and directories, which can contain other directories or files. The outermost directory is called slash. You can navigate around the file system, moving into or out of directories and listing the contents of your directory you're currently in. Within the terminal output, lines that begin with dollar sign are commands you executed, much like some modern computers. CD means change directory. This changes which directory is the current directory, but the specific result depends upon the argument. CDX moves in one level. It looks like the current directory for the directory named X. Sorry, I've got to find the music. There we go. Um, and makes it the current directory. CD dot dot moves out one level. It finds the directory that contains the current directory, then makes the directory in the current uh, directory. CD slash switches the current directory for all outermost directory slash. So this is going to be a tree with two different types of nodes. LS means list. It prints out all of the files and directories immediately contained by the current directory. 123 ABC means the current directory has a file named ABC with size 123. Dear XYZ means the current directory contains a directory XYZ. Given the commands and output in the example above, you can do it with the file system looks visually like this. 
Okay, that makes sense. Here there are four directories. Um, those directories contain files of various sizes. Since the disk is full, your first step should probably be to find the directories that are good candidates for deletion. To do this, you need to determine the total size of each directory. The total size of a directory is the sum of the sizes of the files it contains, directly or indirectly. Directories themselves do not count as having any intrinsic size. The total sizes of the directories above can be counted as follows. Uh, total size of directory E is 584 because it contains a single file I of size 584 and no other directories. Directory A has a total size 94,853 because it contains file F, G, H, plus file I uh, indirectly. Uh, a contains E, which contains I. Directory D has a total size of this, as the outermost directory slash contains every file, its total size is this, the sum of the directory size of every file. To begin with, find all directories with a total size of at least 100,000, then calculate the sum of their total sizes. In the above example, these directories are A and E, with their total size uh, of at most 100,000. The sum of their total sizes is 95,000, uh, 437. This process can count files more than once. Uh, find all the directories with a total size of at most 100,000. What is the sum of all total size of these directories? Okay, and here's our input. That makes sense. So let's figure out, first we're gonna want some classes here. So let's put some classes down here at the bottom. Uh, I want private uh, st static uh, abstract class um, node. And the thing that I want that to have is an array list uh, node children. And I'm not gonna worry about, uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's create node string name, uh, string name. This is gonna help us debug later. Um, this dot name equals name. Um, and then we can, uh, we can also say, uh, and we also want children equals something. This dot children equals new array list. We want a void add node, uh, node, node. This dot children dot add node, no problem. And we want, uh, We can start with uh, int size equals minus one or something. Actually, we can do integer size equals null. Um, then we can also have a, uh, we probably want like a, like a int get size. Uh, if, size equals null. We're gonna wanna compute size, which is a function I'm about to write, and we want to return size. And then uh, void compute size for, um, int sum equals zero for uh, node, node, node in children. Um, this is actually not a node. We should we should refactor this. This is the directory class, um, which is which is that's fine. But we do need some abstract class node. So this is not an abstract class. This is like contain. Let's leave abstract, and we're gonna factor some of this into the thing. Uh, sum plus equals node dot get size. Um, return sum. So that'll recursively. Uh, sorry, we don't want to return the sum. We want to say size equals sum. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and make a class for um, private static class um, file extends node. And we also want, uh, what, are, what are we upset about here? No default constructor available in node. this not the why why is this why is this mad oh well I guess okay I guess we probably have to do file this is this is why it's good to practice this string name uh, super name all right we're good 
And I, this needs a set size. Um, void set size int size. This dot size equals size. Cool. So now we need to split out the directory class. And I realize that I need to full screen this so you guys can see what's going on at the bottom of my screen. Uh, static class directory uh, extends node. So I need direct directory uh, string name. And I think I just need to call super name. And we should be good. And then, um, so now I want get size. I only care about get size on directories. Um, so this can go here. And then add node only matters on directories. So I think that this should probably be a fine thing. So now, uh, oh, we need get size here as well, which is different. Get size, uh, return size. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and this needs uh, abstract int uh, get size. There we go. Which has been now been overridden. So now we need probably need an at override annotation here. Oh good, and my headset died. Uh, let's paste that there, and let's paste that there. And let me fix my headset so that I can listen to stuff as I do this. All right, so we've got a nice class structure here, which is totally not necessary, but it's going to to help me as I go through. Basically what I'm preparing to do is to create a tree and then we can just, for every, then we can just traverse the, the tree. So now let's, uh, why are we upset here? What, what are we upset, what, why, why are we upset with? Um, Oh, it's because we screwed with the... This can't be named file. Um, file class. That's a dumb name, but it solves our problem. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and, and uh, copy over this data and then consider how we need to parse this input. Um, so basically, we need to like figure out which thing we're in. So we start... Like we can basically ignore the first line and then like if the thing is LS, we want to add all of this stuff to like the current node. Anytime we call like CD something, we want to create that node. And then CD, we basically just have to check whether or not CD is going up a level or CD is going down a level. And this input is huge, so fair enough. So let's see, while well, scanner, let's, let's, the, let's look at the, the cases. Uh, basically we want to like if, Okay, so string uh, line equals new uh, equals scanner dot next line. Fair enough. So if uh, line dot caret zero equal equals dollar sign, that means it's a command. So then we want to know is the command we want to like split it basically. So string command uh, equals line dot split on space, which is fine, but that probably needs to be a string. There we go. Um, if command dot, and let's see, we're gonna need an initial, an initial node. So directory, um, slash equals new directory and that has the name slash fair enough uh if command uh one equal equals the two things that it can be are ls else if man this is gonna be ugly cd yeah let's do cd first actually um, and we can deal with ls afterwards. We basically just want to parse the lines until we get to the next. Um, oh, we might have to do some after the fact. This is going to be annoying. Um, okay, and we probably want to... Yeah, so I'm actually going to slightly change this. String line equals 
scanner dot next line. We know there's a first line. So it's well line does not equal no. What happens is what does scanner dot next line return uh, if there's nothing there? I'm trying to take me there. Throws no such element exception if no line was found. Okay, cool. So we can get rid of this and then we can move to the next line somewhere in here. Um, and we're going to be making use of the continue statement. So if there's no dollar sign, we should we don't actually even have to check for that. We basically that that check comes somewhere else, I think. So all of all of this can be I think it's this. Nope, that's the wrong one. I don't remember how to to auto format this, so we're just going to delete these one by one. Ah crap, I'm deleting the wrong stuff here. There we go. Okay, that should be better. So if the command is cd, because um, we know that we're going to be on a line with a dollar sign, then, man, this is too loud. Um, oh, let me check my Twitch real quick. Are, are things going fine? Yeah, things are going fine. No one's here. Um, totally okay. So if the command is cd, um, directory new deer equals new directory uh, command uh, what is it, 2? Let's look at a CD real quick. CD, yeah, so it's the second one. That's totally fine. And then we want uh, new deer. Uh, then we want uh, we can hang on to slash, but I want a directory cursor, which we're going to move around. Cur directory equals slash. Great. Cur directory equals uh, cur directory dot add node new deer. Yeah, and I assume it's going to traverse down. All this is. So actually, we want to like. Uh, we want to add something to the directory class. Um, directory. Get child deer uh, string name. If uh, what is it? What's the, what did I name the children of this? If children dot contains uh, four. I wanted a four and then an if four node child in children. If child uh, instance of uh, directory and child dot name name return child uh, return no and we can cast this uh, directory. Thank you. That's fine because we're checking for the instance and that, that should be fine. And we're referencing the, the name, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Let's actually string name, uh, get name, return name. And we can make all these private and then everything's better. Actually, their package, pri you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. The things can reach another parent, who cares? Um, okay, so actually rather than creating a new directory, uh, directory new directory um, uh, equals uh, cur directory dot get child deer uh, command command two if new directory is null then we'll make it a new directory and otherwise things can chill out uh, new directory equals new directory command two. so we'll we'll make a we'll make a new one and then we'll insert it but if it's already there then we won't worry about it and this is going to make us play nicer with ls so we don't end up with copies of directories which is going to get weird where is it thank you let's just close all this stuff we don't need it right now okay so that's fine um that potentially creates a directory below us if it needs to, and then it moves us to that directory. So now we just want per directory equals uh, 
new directory. Great, wonderful. If the command is ls, um, then string, actually it's just line, So we want to like keep reading the lines. Uh, so we want line equals, uh, and I, I have to assume that there's no empty directories because otherwise stuff gets weird, right? Oh no, even that's fine actually. Line equals uh, scanner dot next line. Uh, and let me look at the bottom of this file to make sure that this is not gonna like Oh, it is gonna get weird, okay. Um, but that's fine. Well, line dot care at um, zero not equal uh, dollar sign, because that's gonna mean it's the next command. Then we wanna parse this current line, which is uh, string, um, file description equals line dot split on space. Is that right? Yeah, these are split on space. And then um, we want, um, what did I call it? File class um, file equals new file class um, File description one, because the file name comes second. File dot set size um, integer dot parse int. Uh, file description zero. That should be fine. What are, what are we upset about? File is already used in the scope. File class, there we go. So now we want file class dot set size. Thank you very much. Um, and then we want to attach that to the curve directory dot add node file class. Wonderful. And then we want uh, if scanner dot has next line line equals scanner dot next line else line equals no. And similarly here, we need to move that. So we want this exact same logic to ex exist up here. Perfect. And so, so far we should be creating the tree okay. So this, this is... This is uh, create the tree. And then we can read the tree separately from that. Read the tree. I need a space here. Wonderful. So let's let's get to to uh, this point into x equals three. That is my favorite breakpoint line. And let's see. Let's actually use smaller test data and see if we can build the right directory. I know we just put everything in there, but let's put this in as the example. Put that in, and then uh, debug main so we can see what's going on. So into x equals three. A legal start of expression. What are we mad about? That's probably what we're mad about. Okay, so we've gotten to X. We have uh, blah, 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 blah. While well, line's not equal null. Oh, we're actually inside of the, the loop, so I just screwed up with where I put that. Um, so let's re-debug this, stop and rerun. Well, I didn't, I didn't set a breakpoint, so that's fair. We just did a bunch of nothing. Okay, are you, are you gonna, are you gonna attach this time? No? What, what's? Stop and, stop and rerun. Have we, are we in an infinite loop? Okay, so this is the stuff that's like CDing. This is LSing. Are there any other things that exist there? No, there's just reading stuff. CD, LS, CD, C. Oh, um, yeah, this is unsurprisingly causing problems for us because um, all of this CD is only uh, if the new directory is new. If command two is dot dot, 
then we need to go up. Uh, current directory equals... Uh, so things need to hold on to their parent then. Node parent. So now we have to add all the stuff that adds a that adds a parent. Wonderful. Um, void set parent node parent. This dot parent equals parent, and then we want node get parent. Turn parent, thank you very much. Okay, so now let's go back through and modify all this stuff to set all the parents correctly. Uh, equals current directory dot get parent. And that's that's all we have to do there. Else, and then we're gonna put all this stuff inside of that, so we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, directory, we know that's gonna be a directory actually. Okay, wonderful. That shouldn't get mad at us, no. Everything's always going to have a parent that's that. In fact, we can set uh, the parent as directory. And the only thing without a parent is a slash. So that's fine. If we get a no pointer exception, the, our input was garbage. So we'll we'll live with that. Oh, look, we got three viewers. I hope, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Oh, Pigs Love Bacon is back. That's nice. Okay. Um, little, little tricky here. So that's fine. Else, new directory, blah, blah, blah. If new directory equals null, then we need to do this. And we also need new dear. And this actually, let me just go ahead and fix this real quick. Three. There we go. That's so much better. Dot add set parent for directory. There we go. Otherwise, when we go through here, um, Oh, this is just assuming that Ella. Oh man, yeah. So we need to see. Uh, this is assuming that everything. So so let's see. Let's look. What's the difference between a? There's a directory. So if uh, what did I what did I call it? So file description needs to be renamed. Um, no description. So if node description zero equal equals dir, then we're gonna do something else, else. This all goes in there. This is all just writing some complex parsing stuff. And if this is a directory, then we want a directory, new directory. And this is all just the same stuff. Um, This is the same, except we don't curse into it. So that's all fine. And then we move down at the bottom, so that's okay. And for this one, we want to file class dot uh, set parent uh, cur directory. Because again, that's where we are modifying cur directory here. Wonderful. And this should deal with duplicate directories just fine. So we'll come back to that. So let's see if we debug this now. Do things get better? Yes, this needs to be a directory. Thank you very much. Okay, oh, no, don't, don't do that. Don't, just come here. Re recompile. And this, this is a small data set. So something's clearly going wrong here. So let's do that. Okay, so let's debug and, and start over. Dollar sign CD slash. Oh, we need to. We just need to do this twice. We need to ignore the first line, because otherwise it's slash is now referring to slash, and it's it gets it's gonna get mad. Okay, now that we've found that bug, variable line. Uh, First line, it causes bugs. Okay, so we've got dollar sign ls. Uh, 
Command one is CD, no, command one's LS. So we're gonna go down to the LS thing and then we're gonna see, whoa. Oh, we stepped over. Well, that's our fault. What do you mean? Oh, are we doing, oh gosh, we're doing, we're not doing string comparison, right? Um, in fact, we can dot equals. Thank you very much. God damn. Dang strings seem to be compared this way. Terrible. Where's the other equals? And I'm sure there's some nicer way to do this that's not just dot equals ing, which is a super object unsafe way to do this. But you know, that's that's life. So let's just keep on going. Any other, let's control F for equals equals real quick. That's a null check. That's a, yeah, actually, yes, that's also fair. Equals name, yes, wonderful. Any other equals equals? That's a null check. We've got a null check, a null check, and a null check. Wonderful, okay, we probably solved that. Let's debug this one more time. Okay, we got dollar sign, LS, CD, false. This is true. Um, so this is dir a, um, that's true. So we're going to create a new, oh, uh, and because this is zero, this needs to be a one. Let's recompile and try again. Stop and rerun. Okay. So fine, fine, fine. We do all the stuff. LS, we get dir a. There is nothing, so then this also needs to be a one. We gotta recompile and try again. That's what we get. That's 21, that is going to be worse. Um, yeah, and that's what, that's what I get for copy pasting. This needs to be a one. And then did I actually change another different different one? Stop, stop. Oh my gosh, the worst. Okay, let's see if I got the indices right now. This is, it's so hard to debug and it's so easy to write this stuff correctly, you know? But that's what we get, that's okay. So, we created a, a new directory. We're gonna add a node, we're gonna set its parents. It has a next line, so we're there. The character at zero is not dollar sign, so we're cool. We split it, it doesn't equal directory, so it's a file class, it has this size, it has this parent. Um, we're just gonna keep adding nodes. This is another c.dat that's getting built just fine. The next line is dollar sign ls. That was dear d. Okay, yeah. I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, and this one is dollar sign cda. So let's see if cd works. That's true. We're not going up. So then uh, we're gonna make a new directory. Wait, why doesn't A show up? Yeah, it shows up right here. So why didn't... Okay, let's pull up the, the expression thing. So cur directory uh, is a thing. It has children of size three, this, this, and this. Uh, oh no, one of them is named ls. That's bad. And then there's b.txt and c.dat. Yeah, what's going on with this part? Okay, so creating the directories in the first part is screwed up. Let's look. <laughs> Dir, then we wanna see if there's one. Okay, so let's start this over and see if we can catch the directory getting built wrong. So this is an ls, that's fine. This is dir a, this does equal dir. And so if we look at cur directory, cur directory is slash. And if we jump down, new directory is null, so we... Uh, oh, it's because we're using command. This needs to be node description one. Um, that's what I get. The command is, is the higher level thing. Okay, cool. Let's recompile, run it again. It's gonna be debugging tonight. We're not, we're not scoring well. Although maybe nobody's scoring well. Maybe this just takes everyone a long time. Okay. So now if we look at uh, cur directory and we look at its children, 
it has a child name a and its parent is the current directory 922 so we're we're fine so let's uh play until we get to the next top one so now we have cda it's going to cd in the into a wonderful so now it's going to say dollar sign ls and that's going to take us through ls so this should be all fine we can click play a couple more times until we get done uh, uh ls and then it didn't why didn't it stop us here we'll go to the console finish with exit code zero can i invoke string dot caret int because line is null oh crap where did that happen Uh, oh, this should be well line not equal null and this. Okay, so now if I debug this, we're just finding all the bugs. We wrote terrible code. That's, it turns out, yeah, it's, you know, if any of you thought I was good at this, surprise, I'm not. Unless, aha, and so now if we look at slash, we have slash, inside of slash is um, four children, which are a, b.txt, c.dat, and d, which if we look back at the total thing, we have a, uh, b.txt, c.txt, and dat. If we go into a, uh, a has four children, which are H, G, F, and E. H, G, F, E, and then inside of E there should be I. Uh, name E, which has a child, I. Yes, which has a size. Wonderful. Um, okay. So I, I feel comfortable with this part. In fact, let's let's plug in our. Well, no, we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's try and let's try and read the tree. We good. Okay, so now let's read the tree. Um, so we want to. I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this is. We can create a queue. We can traverse up and down the tree. Let's make a little little recursive thing and let's give it a. Um, Uh, oh, no, no, no. We can actually, I think we can figure out how to traverse this pretty easily, right? We can just go. No, no, no. We need to, we need a helper function. Uh, int sum equals zero. Um, and then we want to call the... Actually, we want in sum equals call the the helper function, which is going to be like um, count small directory sum, and we want to give it slash, which is our which is our top one. So now we want a private static int count small directory sum, which takes in a directory root, which in our case is slash. So then what we want to do is we want to basically want to like compute the sum of every directory. Um, so now what we want to do is basically call some recursive version, um, which calling get size should be fine. So let's, let's see. So first of all, we just want to call root dot, uh, get size that's going to compute the size of the entire tree that's gonna that's gonna produce our way down actually and then actually what we can do is rather than writing a function to help us do this what we can do is say um i want to i want a separate thing which is um uh int uh compute size um Return size if uh, directory and small. Um, which is going to do nothing, and that's going to uh, for. It's basically going to do the same compute size 
but it's going to do it slightly differently. Basically, it's going to say um, for uh, node, node, and children, if node uh, instance of direct directory um, sum plus equals node dot get, uh, sorry, return size if uh, directory and small. And then I actually just want to return sum. So now I can actually just call this. So now what I want to do is rather than parsing parsing the tree or anything, I just want to call um, sum of small directory sizes. This is the benefit of having created the data structure ourselves. Um, slash dot uh, return size of directory and small, which should is that going to work right? I guess what I also want to do is add at the end of that, because this is going to return all of this, the ones below it, but it's not necessarily going to return itself. Um, if this dot size less than 100,000, um, sum plus equals um, this dot size. So let's see, because each one's going to have zero, and then it's going to try and call return size of directory and small, which would be zero, and it's only going to add itself if it's, a, if it's over 100,000, uh, which is fine. So then if we have a directory inside of another directory, it's going to get the smaller one here, and then it's going to get the larger one here. So that should be fine. So I think we're actually done with part one now. Stop and rerun. Missing, what's, what's missing a return statement? Uh, oh, I don't need this function anymore. You cannot invoke Java uh, lang integer value because this size is null. What? Aha! Oh yes, I forgot to I forgot to call the the side effect function that I needed to call, which is slash dot get size. Um, has side effect of computing the whole tree's size recursively. Needed for correct invocation. Uh, actually, it's not needed. What we need to do is we need to call in our return. What we're going to do is we're going to do this. If get size on itself is less than 100,000, so it'll just auto initialize itself all the way down. 95,430, whatever. Let's see if let's see if that adds up. Submit. It's not the right answer. Return a, oh, well that's because that's the answer here, which is exactly right. So we nailed it. And now let's just put in our real stuff. And unfortunately we're gonna have to wait a minute. So this is gonna be a rather large penalty, but this should also take a second to compute. Though apparently not that long. It's just kind of surprising. You have to wait 38 seconds, okay. So we'll just chill here for a second and I can figure out when 38 seconds is. Should be uh, right after I get to the minute mark here, which seems to have taken us, what, 40 minutes or so to solve this? So better than before. And most of that was making a class structure, which is probably a little bit overcomplicated. Probably could have done it uh, a little bit easier, but honestly, I feel like this code is pretty easy to pretty easy to mess with and pretty readable. So we're up to four viewers, which is kind of surprising. Um, I have no clue who any of you are, but I hope you're having a good night. That's not true, actually. I recognize one of you. Submit. I have to wait three seconds. Well, that's what if I go now? That's the right answer. One gold star. Nailed it. Part two. Now you're ready to choose the directory to delete. The total disk space available with the size system uh, is 70 million. To run an update, you need an unused space of at least 300 million, uh, 30 million. You need to find a directory you can delete that will free up enough space to run the update. In the example above, the total size of the outermost directory and thus the total amount of space used is this. This means that the size of the unused directory space must equal this, which isn't quite 30 million. Uh, therefore, the update still requires the directory with the total size of at least this to be deleted before it can be run. To achieve this, you have the following uh, options. Delete E, delete A, delete D, delete slash. E and A are both too small. Directories D and slash are both big enough. To choose between them, choose the smallest, increasing the unused space by this. 
Find the smallest directory that if deleted would free up enough space uh, on the file system to run the update. What is the total size of that directory? Okay, so we can actually copy most of our implementation from part one, which I will refactor, I promise, when we uh, get to the point that we need to do this stuff. So let's get to here. And then rather than doing this, now what I need to do is, um, now I actually probably do have to iterate through the, through the tree. Um, so directory, um, directory list, um, int total size equals slash get size equals new directory list. And there's how many lines here? We can, we can just wing it. We don't actually, there's 962. So if I create a, a oh, why am I creating a, a thing? I should create a list. List, in fact, array list, directory, directory list equals new array list. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> if you want to see Java, you, you do see Java with four space indent. That's actually the norm. Like, I think that that's, I think that that's the, the, the norm inside of Google. Good evening, Victor. Hope you're doing well. Um, so now I have to uh, call some helper functions. Uh, uh, private uh, void traverse tree. I need a list uh, directory directory list. Yes, you can import that. I need a node uh, root. Um, so basically what I need to do is I just need to pass this a directory and then uh, if if a thing is itself is, is a directory then I needed to add it to self to the list. Okay, um, so actually this this probably just needs um, no per node. In fact, this shouldn't be a node, it should be a directory. Directory, per directory. Uh, four space is a common industry. You've seen writing space You've been writing two spaces for like five years now. Yeah, I like four spaces because it makes it, it just makes things really easy to see. But like, I don't know. Um, honestly, I think there's an argument to be made for tabs just so that everybody can see the tab, whatever what they want. But it screws up with editors and it doesn't play nice with Python. So I understand all people here. Um, so what we first want to do is add directory list dot add uh, curd directory. And then what we want to do is for um, curd directory children. I know we're accessing a thing. Um, node, node in career directory dot children. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. If node in, uh, instance of directory, then just call traverse tree on a directory list uh, node. And this actually, we should rename this node to child. And we'll just, we could have hit shift F6, but there's only three of them. And I had already written child by the time I thought of that. Uh, and then we just want to return. Yeah, so we just, we do, we do that and it should be fine. Why are, why are you upset? Oh, because we need to cast. Yes. Wonderful. Totally fine. So now if we call um, traverse tree and this needs to be static that's why i can't call it traverse tree um directory list um slash and so now what i want to do is um directory list dot sort new comparator directory and i gotta return i gotta remember how i do i think i subtract this stuff if i'm remembering correctly um, oh, I, I'm supposed to look this up on the screen where you guys can see it. Uh, Java comparator, um, Java comparator compare is what I'm trying to define. Compare method, uh, uh, x, y such that x, y less than equal to zero. Compare, compare these two arguments. Uh, returns a negative integer, zero, or positive integer if the first argument is less than, equal to, or greater than the second. So I want, I just want to return then uh, 
01 dot uh, size minus 02 dot size, right? Because that's it's going to return negative if uh, it's less than this will return negative if 01 is less than 02. So we're actually cool as far as that is concerned. So now that's sorted. So then what I want to do is I want to uh, int target size uh, equals 30 million minus uh, total size. And then I, I want to find the, um, I want to find the thing, which we could do slightly more efficiently, but this is going to be small. So for uh, die equals zero, I less than noted step directory D use D. Oh, interesting. I had never seen that before, Victor. That is a, a great feature to note. I'm not going to write it right now. <laughs> Um, directory list dot size plus plus i. I know there's faster ways to be doing this. If um, directory list dot get i dot get size greater than uh, target size system dot out dot print when ideal directory to delete has size, and I'm just supposed to return the size of it, right? Total size of that directory, correct. Um, plus directory list dot get i dot get size. And then what I want to do is I want to break. And we should be good to go, because we know the input is fine. So let's just go ahead and put part two here. This is why you make good code, and then we'll... Apparently that's all it is. I'm gonna be shocked if that's right. Yeah, 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 that's, that's not correct. So let's go back to the, to the fake input and see if we get the right answer. So we go here, this'll help us find bugs. It's only 23 lines long. What are you telling me? 584, is that right? Uh... That's that's not right. What's what's going on here? Did I copy something wrong? Yeah, 30 million. So I need 30 million minus the amount of space that there is. And this is just giving me the smallest directory. Should this is 30 million, right? Here, let's move these side by side just for a second. Oh, I need 30 million, so I need Okay, let me let me think of the math here. So the total space that there that there is here, let's do the math slightly differently here. So the target size is um, thirty minus, uh, and then it's so we need thirty million left. So it's the the total. The total directory size plus 30 million needs to be less than 70 million, right? Let's see. Total plus 30 less than 70. So we need uh, target size. So we need 30 is less than 70 minus total. So we need zero. Zero is less than 70 minus 30 minus total. So actually, I just want the total size minus uh, 40 million. Gosh, I'm so bad at basic math. Let's see if this gives me the right answer. Uh, yes, it does. So now if I go back to this, man, if I wasn't so dumb, I could have finished this five minutes ago, which is not that long ago, but it's long enough ago to feel like we could have done better. So now if we submit an answer, that's right. Gold star day seven. Okay. We're going to do what we always do, uh, which is go to the leaderboard and see how we did personal stats. 3,600. So a little better than yesterday. We still, you know, did it a little bit dumb, but I mean, you know, we're not we're not trying to end up in the top 100 or something. Though apparently on day two, we just destroyed that one. What even was day two? Um, oh, it was the rock, paper, scissors one. Okay, so we just must've just parsed that input really well. Um, 
Cool, and if we go to our private leaderboards here, I'm the only person to have completed either part of day one uh, from work, and I'm the only part to have completed either part of day one uh, among my friend Ryan's uh, friends. So there are seven stars here. So there should be 70 stars. So I, I've won every single segment except for one where Ryan beat me on the first part and I beat him on the second part. He's slacking though. I gotta, I gotta get on him. Otherwise he's gonna quit. So now let's go back to here and let's clean up our code a little bit like we always do. And we're gonna start doing that in the fashion which is common, which is to take this um, and put it in our problem statement. No, I need both sides. Thank you very much. Let's go here. And let's take a quick look at what the formatting typically looks like. It looks like, okay. So we probably actually are gonna wanna have this on both sides. And I wish I could collapse this, but I don't think I can. So let's just, in fact, I don't even really need that right now. So I just need, I wish it wouldn't auto. Double that, browser on the file system to assess there's nothing. So then we have this one which we can, if I can ever remember, I always can just do two there. File system has a tree of stuff, uh, which is called slash. That's the only one that needs to be coded there. Terminal input, dollar sign commands are the only ones that we care about. And then uh, we have CD, means change directory. Um, and then we have, what's the syntax here? Let's do this to see if we can figure it out. Blah, blah, blah. So whatever's happening here is doing it for us. Oh, we just literally need to, need to put some spaces. Like that? Yeah. And is it four spaces? It is four spaces. Okay, so back to the, back to what we were doing. Um, that's fine, cdx, cd dot dot, cd slash. Oh, well that's, I don't, I got all the right answers. I did not, I didn't even account for this at all. I, I should not have gotten today's. Um, that's a, uh, oops. But we're gonna leave that bug in there. That's fine. You know, I wrote an example, file visually looks like this. Probably don't wanna tab three times. Hit it twice, Malcolm, not three times. Um, and there's this. Lovely. Four directories, slash, the outermost directory, A and D, which are in slash, D, E, which is in uh, A. Now we just go like that. Since the disk is full, total size. Which I think this needs to be bolded. Yeah, there we go. Uh, total size of directory is going to be found as follows. Total size of directory E um, is 584. It contains a single file I. That size 584 and to know other files. Okay, well this is 584 apparently it doesn't need to be bolded. Total size of here. Let's get all the let's got all these. And we can do this. D has this. A has this. It's the only one. And then we just want to F G h.list i indirectly a contains e contains i wonderful it's a good thing this isn't confusing i don't know directory slash contains every file is total size is this the sum total of the files to begin find all the directories with size at most uh at most 100,000. uh then calculate the sum of their total sizes uh, the example above the directories are a and E, and the sum of their total sizes is this, which I also need to bold. Um, files can count more than once. Your answer was this, part two. 
Now you're going to choose restrictor leap. Total size is this. You need at least this. To find a director leap, you need to free up enough space. Just bolden everything, aren't we? I watched a talk by the creator. It's very interesting. He basically like built this for just his friends as like a fun little side project. And then thousands of people used it the very first year and he was like, oh no. Um, and he was self-hosting. So he basically had to do like a bunch of weird stuff. Um, directory with the least size. This update still requires this, or it can be run uh, the following options. This, 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 this. Oh, thank you. Uh, A, or sorry, E. There we go. It's always interesting to try and consider like the minimal set of hotkeys to get something done. A uh, and E are both too small. Directory is D and slash are both big enough. Between these, choose the smallest uh, D. Uh, increasing unused space by this amount. Find the smallest directory. What is the total size of that directory? Your answer was this. And we can... I don't want to bold this because there's two stars there. So we're just going to leave that. Okay, I think let's take a look at this real quick. Okay, so we we screwed up because we didn't add a new line at the top of the file. That's on us. Come back here. Oh yeah, look at how nice and smooth this reads. Yeah, 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 we got it. Okay, cool. So let's go back and edit the code now real quick. Let's do a little bit of cleanup. I found, I found exception, reasonable. So, um, I think that we can move this parse tree into like a separate private static function. Private static um, void parse tree. Uh, scanner, scanner, string line. Do I even need to do? I don't need to do that. Um, node? Is it a node or is it a directory? What is root? Directory slash. I want cur directory equals slash in here. And I want um, and then I basically want everything from here to here in there. Right? This. Yeah. And then I can just call where'd it go? Parse tree scanner. Um, slash. Wonderful. And in fact, we can actually, yeah, slash dot get size gets called. So we can actually replace all of this with that as well. And so now let's see if we run this. Do we still get an answer? Yes, we do. Was that the right answer there? 578, 710? Yes, it was. Okay, so we didn't break anything by doing that. Look at how much better this is. Call um, and in fact we don't need to call that anymore like this side effect isn't needed right so if we go back and we make this part part one if we del delete that are we gonna get an error or is it gonna work oh yeah it works and that's the correct answer so we didn't break anything so we don't need that side effect anymore yeah so we're, we're better we're, we're good and so then for this one, parse tree, we also, no, we do. And then we're fine. And this part actually seems pretty decent. Um, okay, so let's comment what's going on. Read the, uh, read the input file, 
construct the uh, Mercury tree under slash. Use the um, directory tree to compute the value we want by having the tree itself do the recursion for us. Wonderful. And so now this is going to be the same. Um, with the input file um, and sort a list of all directories. Please um, find the target size and find the smallest directory greater than or equal to that target size to delete. need um, need directory tree to up at most 40 million is that right yeah delete excess cool that's fine print that okay cool so that's, that's pretty nice. And then let's look in here. Um, create the tree. Uh, that's a little bit redundant. Uh, read until the file is empty. Um, read CD commands. Move up a directory else move down a directory <clears throat> creating if move it. get next line safely this is um, Parse all uh, nodes in current directory. Um, make a new subdir if necessary. Um, make a new uh, raw file. Cool, cool, and then uh, grab next line if safe. Uh, grab next line safely. Wonderful. And then traverse tree. Um, this don't care, care about the parameters. As all directories, uh, including and below the past directory to the past list. Including, wonderful, this um, base class for both files and directories. Um, class to represent um, directories in our tree and class to represent files in our tree class uh, used as name since file uh, conflicts with other class name uh, used in this file Wonderful. And then there's some stuff, set size, get size, um, used to recursively grab 
the sum of all direct directories of size at most 100,000. Okay, um, I think that that's more or less good. I'm reasonably happy with that. Okay, so we, we've cleaned up, we've done the problem. Let's go ahead and explain uh, what's going on here and then we can call it a night. So um, as you'll note on the left side here, we basically get uh, a bunch of stuff over here and we're trying to basically construct this as a tree of um, trying to basically construct this uh, file system as a tree for our traversal. So what we do is we in the first problem we parse that tree and so you go in and based upon what the lines are some lines say CD so we need to figure out whether or not to move up or down our existing file system including creating a new thing so this is going up a file and it just moves us up to the parent. Uh, otherwise, we're going down and we need to determine if we need to make a new directory. And then if we do, we make it and then move to that directory. And then we get the next line to continue parsing down. Otherwise, uh, if the command is an ls, then that means we're going to have a bunch of um, a bunch of lines in a, uh, in a row that don't have a dollar sign. And those are either going to say a directory, uh, which we then parse like this, where we make the new directory if necessary. It's possible, for example, that you um, ls multiple times or you move into directories where you're going to see things multiple times, so that can create problems for us. Uh, so we create a new directory if necessary, but we don't we don't scroll to it because we're just reading all the stuff below. So we just go to the next line. Otherwise, we we make a new file. So we grab the size of that file and the name of that file and store it. Uh, and we just assume that these are all unique, even though I suppose if ls was called multiple times, this would not uh, play nicely. And we just keep doing that uh, while the scanner has lines. So that parses the input file. Then what we do is we call uh, return size if directory and small, which is a function on uh, directory classes, which says, hey, can you please compute the sum of, your, of yourself and any directories below you uh, for each directory that has size at most 100,000? So if our, if our size is less than 100,000, we add ourselves to the sum. And then what we do is uh, for each of our children, we find whether or not any of those nodes are directories. And then if so, we just call this on them. So then this is going to add up all directories uh, who have size less than 100,000, including if you have a, for example, let's say you have a directory of size five inside of a directory of size 10, this will grab both because this does itself and it also does its children. Um, and so because the data structure is itself recursive, we can basically just call this on the root and it immediately gives us the answer for everything. Uh, and so we just print that out. For the second part, what we need to do is we need to read stuff in just like we did before. And then what we need to do is we need to generate uh, empty space such that we end up with 30 million bytes of disk. And that means that the total size of the directory system can be at most 40 million bytes. So we need to delete however big it is minus 40 million bytes. So what we do up here is we get a list of all the directories and the way we do that is we basically say hey uh, please traverse this tree for me and then we sort it by size to make it easier to deal with later where we add the current directory and then we go and call the same function on each subdirectory that exists so we can parse all the way down the tree uh, this is an, this is a level order traversal um, and so then what we do is we sort the directories based on the directory size um, the fact that we're calling size here instead of get size is probably wrong. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Um, and then what we do is we grab the smallest directory that is larger than the target size, and then we break out and we print that directory out. So that's that's all we do. It's mostly about constructing the file system in a way that doesn't break. There are several bugs in this code, but none of them prevent us from getting the correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and say done. This is this is not perfect. There are still bugs in this, but there are not bugs that prevented us from getting the answer. In particular, you'll notice that cd slash exists and we don't have cd slash as a as an option, uh, which we could add, but I'm certainly not going to. So that's it for advent of code today. Um, that's about all I have. Um, I was thinking about sticking around and playing some chess, but mm, I'm not I'm not really feeling it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to turn off for the night. I appreciate you all being here. And uh, if if this interests any of you, which perhaps it will not, but that's okay. But if this interests you, um, got to wait for it to open because I got to mess with my profile settings. Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I go over uh, some of these advent of code, uh, where, I, where I store the VODs for these advent of code. So if this interested you, you can go check out the previous days where I solved them all. 
uh, in the description so that you can also find a link to my GitHub as well as a link to another channel that I run related to chess. I hope everybody has a uh, good night and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>